Good evening and welcome to Night Prayer. It is uh, Wednesday the 10th of March tonight. So let's just still our hearts and minds as we come into this time of worship this night. Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you, through the whole, the whole company of heaven and one another, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins. Heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot a deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 139 Search me out, O God, and know my heart. O Lord, you have searched me out and know me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Where can I go then from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me fast. Your right hand hold me fast. If I say surely the darkness will cover me, and the light around me turn to night, even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written, as day by day they were fashioned when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more in number than the sun and at the end I am still in your presence. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Creator God, may every breath we take be for your glory. May every footstep show you as our way. 
that trusting in your presence in this world, we may beyond this life still be with you, where you are alive and reign forever and ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from Isaiah 58. Is not this the fast that I choose? To loose the bonds of injustice, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free and to break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house when you see the naked to cover them and not to hide yourself from your own kin? Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Christ died for us, so that whether we wake or sleep, we might live with him. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and to the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Christ died for us, so that whether we wake or sleep, we might be with him. So let us pray. God of peace. As we hear the winds outside and the rain beat down, we remember those who are feeling turbulent this night, who feel as if they are caught in a storm. We pray for your peace to calm fears. be in the midst of those who feel that they are living in a whirlwind, to bring a peace to this world. We pray for, net, pray for nations who are in conflict, where their political system feels turned upside down by various events in their countries. Particularly tonight, we pray for the people of Myanmar. We pray for the people of Russia. We pray for your peace to descend, your Holy Spirit to be a great blanket and a blessing that would be poured upon this whole world. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. God of hope, as we begin to make moves to come out of lockdown, we pray for a hopefulness. As we see signs of spring, we pray that we would see the hope that you give us in your son as we approach Easter. And just as your son entered not into glory first, but went via the cross, help us as we appear to be in our darkest times. We 
We pray for those who will be affected by great distress. And for whom the financial impact will be disastrous. We pray for hope. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who need your healing touch this night. For those who are dying and will die this night. For those who watch or weep or pray this night. We commend into your hands all that we have done this day. For the people we have seen or spoken to. For the people who have crossed our minds. We put into your hands those things that remain undone at the end of this day and ask that your holy angels would guard us as we rest so that we might wake refreshed in order to do your will in the world tomorrow. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, may we, by the prayer and discipline of Lent, enter into the mystery of Christ's sufferings that by following in the way we may come to share in the glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so for one last time today, we pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May God bless us that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness and peace. Well, good night, good night and God bless and um, I'll be back tomorrow morning.